Now, there is there is one criticism on IFRS 3 business combination as well. There is some criticism on IFRS 3 business combination as well. Listen, let me go go through it quickly because before the break, I taught you this concept. Before the break, I taught you this concept. Okay, and I made one video on this, a short five minute video on this as well, but that's video in Hindi language or Urdu language. So not all of my students can understand that language. So it's better I discuss this thing. It's a short issue, but you will have a different perspective of this. And one thing, one thing, be very clear. You may, current issue is a judgmental area. This is a thinking of one party. You can think the other way. You can, you can disagree with me as well. This is your right. Okay. This, this is possible. Even I can, even I can say against my my words. Okay. This is the this is this is the way we take current issues. Listen. Read the first para. Accounting standards are never perfect. Yes. It's not from God. It's man-made. IFRS is man-made and man can do errors. Okay. Man has limitations. Humans have humans have limitations, right? Now, goodwill. Some people say goodwill is not an asset. Some people say goodwill is not an asset. Internally generated goodwill. The inherent goodwill. See, because you don't purchase anything, so there is no underpinning transaction. The first argument no reliable measure my favorite argument is no, no reliable measure measure you can't you can't measure it because is 38 says a good all intangible assets are initially recorded at cost all intangible assets are initially recorded at cost and you and cost means what you are paying cost means what consideration you are giving so in order to generate internally generated goodwill you give you do efforts you talk politely you talk politely, you, you give good service. Now these things cannot be measured. These things cannot be measured. That's why that's why goodwill cannot be recorded as, a, as an asset internally generated goodwill. This is the this is not controversial. After all, the purpose of the statement of is one of the stewardship and being accountable to the users of the financial statement on end is not an attempt to value the business. Listen. The objective of financial statement is not to show the valuation of business. Please be careful. Valuation is a separate thing. Valuation is done by separate analysts and they are a separate people. The objective of financial statement is just to show the true and fair, true and fair view of what is happening, right? You are not, you are not, you don't have this responsibility to show the valuation of the business that is done by different players in the stock market okay and that is done by parent company when parent company wants to buy that is done by audit firms when they give this a special service okay now so one party says goodwill is not an asset now the other party says goodwill is an asset which is purchase goodwill but goodwill is sometimes recognized as an asset goodwill is sometimes if it is purchase goodwill yes you know this the standard requires that the purchase goodwill on a business combination on a business combination be recognized as an int intangible asset. See this. Now, this line, read this line. Some, some still argue that the purchase goodwill is not. Some still argue that the purchase goodwill is not an asset at all. Given that an asset by definition per ISB conceptual framework is a resource that is controlled, that is, but how can a business control goodwill its own reputation? Wait, you know, wait, have you, have you studied CGU, CGU, cash generating unit? In cash generating unit, whenever we do impairment, we first remove the goodwill. In cash generating unit, when we allocate impairment, we simply clean the goodwill. Remember, and you know, there are some trainers, they what logic they give because goodwill is a weak asset as compared to other asset. Goodwill is a weak asset as compared to other asset. Listen, for example, if you want to destroy a building, if you want to destroy a building, you need to, you need to do a bomb blast. You need to bring the workers. They will destroy the building. 
but if you want to destroy the goodwill just spread a rumor just spread a wrong news and it it can destroy goodwill so you know goodwill is a very shaky shady shaky assets asset right so that that's why some people say this it's not good to record goodwill see this is one of the argument one of the arg one of the thinking of people but how can a business control goodwill its own reputation it also a strange asset that cannot be sold separately now but still the standard but still the standard okay okay just surrender in front of standard that standard says internally generated goodwill you cannot capitalize and purchase goodwill you can capitalize this is the standard so far this is the standard so far and also read this word bridge you know if you remember the basic consolidation if you remember the basic consolidation look at me this purchase goodwill is the bridge between coi cost of investment coi and fair value of net asset this purchase goodwill basically reconciles this so that's why it's very important okay now next argument please next argument because the answer to the good question is goodwill as an asset is both no and yes in some books goodwill is not an asset in some books yes it is an asset so now what's the problem those companies which are grown organically organically they have internally generated goodwill and it is not recorded and those those companies the, those who are those who are generated through takeovers through they they did external growth they have purchased goodwill so now these two books are not comparable these two businesses are not comparable these two businesses are not comparable read it now i am going to pitch a super thing so now you will your perception will be changed regarding this standard now i am going to pitch a super thing may may you understand this is the super thing listen this listen 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 this is the super thing ifrs3 business combination is wrong to require the purchase goodwill be subject to an impairment review listen ifrs3 says this is a technical area now i am i am coming to the technical point honestly ifrs3 says that at the date of takeover record the purchase goodwill and now in future now in future do impairment testing now in future do impairment testing if there is any impairment then book impairment otherwise no need otherwise no need so now just think just think there is a possibility the goodwill which we bought at the time of takeover the reputation which we bought from s company at the time of takeover the original reputation was declined now but because of the efforts of parent company some new some new some new goodwill is, has been created so just think old goodwill was 100 100 $100 old goodwill we purchased from s company was 100 and that old reputation has been down to 60 but some new reputation has been added because of the efforts of parent company was 50 parent company added 50 so 60 plus 50 now the total goodwill is 110 so the accountant when the accountant will do when the accountant will do future impairment review there will be no impairment but in reality there is a impairment of original asset there is a impairment of original goodwill so that means in reality we are booking we are in this case we are booking some internally generated goodwill this is a difficult concept all of you read this all of you please all of you please read this paragraph read this paragraph slowly slowly slow 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 just think i have a pond filled water pond full of water 10 years back after 10 years it is still filled but do you think the existing water 10 years before is still in that pond no some water has been evaporated and because of rain some new water will come 
so now who whoever will see they will see that the water is still same but but in reality the old water has been vanished has been impaired has been gone so this is the wrong treatment by ifrs that means we are we are we are capitalizing our efforts the internally generated goodwill after takeover is also been capitalized Ooh. did you understand or not let me read your chat yes it's very deep it's very deep all of you please comment just for me just for me please comment i would be happy let me read it for you i would argue that there that where year after year purchase goodwill is impairment tested and not found to have suffered a loss that what is really happening is that the original goodwill the original reputation is actually being dis dissipated and is really being gradually replaced by newly created inherent goodwill so that means in this case you are capitalizing you are capitalizing the internally generated goodwill and normally internally generated goodwill are not allowed to be capitalized and now see the example of this water see see this example this is a super example super 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 after all if you measure the amount of water in pond every year you could you could conclude that the water level never falls but surely after 10 years the original water there has evaporated and been replaced by new different water the original water in the pond is like the original goodwill at acquisition it does it does dissipate over time as a staff leave and new customers are attracted so it can be argued on the basis that the original goodwill should be systematically amortized and the see now some people says that it's better see now this is the new account new arguments don't do impairment review that's why people say don't do impairment review because in the impairment review this is the defect which we discuss it's better you it's better you book amortization of the purchase goodwill so it can be argued on the basis that the original goodwill the original water the original water should be systematically amortized the current impairment review process ignores this dissipation and in effect allows inherent goodwill to be recognized as an asset through the back door now one more thing one more thing wait it need big heart now please ending two minutes one more thing you know imp what is impairment impairment is a sudden fall third impairment is a sudden fall but you know amortization you smooth out things through amortization you smooth out things and you know when you if just imagine if you adopt amortization model right now amortization of goodwill is not allowed please right now in the current ifrs world amortization of goodwill is not allowed but just think if the amortization of goodwill is allowed you can you can easily predict the future profit you can easily predict the future profit and today i gave the example in of europe today i gave the example of europe that nowadays in in modern economies in modern economies investors and analysts wants to wants to predict future profits investors and analysts wants to predict the future profits so through amortization it is good it is excellent to predict future profits see another unfortunate consequence of the impairment review process for goodwill is that it can mean in certain years reported profits fall off a cliff this makes predicting this makes predicting future profit trends and harder trends harder and so alternatively users might prefer to see purchase goodwill systematically written off after all if information is to be useful it has to be it has to be relevant and to be relevant it should be predictive 
if you if you guys have studied the basics of framework if you guys have studied the basics of framework with relevance with relevance this word predictive is always written the predictive value of business should always be there the predictive value of business should always be there my dear students my dear did you understand please tell me and i would say i would say my my beautiful students i would say these are the thinking of different people yes you know when i make this video and i post it on youtube and different there are people they they comment against this video but i said this is current issue because you know outside acca students acca students especially sbr students they know that what is current issue current issue means the things which are not really applied they are in process they are criticism and they are thinking of different people this is how you comment this is how you comment okay getting so that's it for today's class thanks for attending the class and i would request all of you to attend the next two classes as well and better attend the live class better attend the live class better attend the live class live class is very useful plus recordings are risky okay thank you thank you take care take care bye bye